Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is uh, Brandon back in with the toolbox tour now, I promised. Um, just upgraded from my KRL uh, 722 to the Snap-on Epic, the 68-inch. Uh, I believe it's KERN 682B, and it's in the teal with the black trim. And the midnight kit, so it's got the black uh, snap-on badge, not just the letters, the whole thing's black, and the black wheels, and the Epics come with the four swivel casters, which is really nice, made getting into the garage fairly easy, but uh, I suppose we'll start up here. I'd like to uh, get all these sockets down in the, in the drawers and stuff, so I got some of the trays that came with some of the snap-on sockets and a few more down in the toolbox, but uh, get a few more rails and try to clean this up a bit, especially for when the uh, rhino-lined uh, power top comes in. So I'm just waiting on that now, but uh, so I guess we'll start at the back. These are all SAE wrenches. Um, besides these here are the BC racing coilover wrenches for my Subaru. And these are all metric down here. And so it's not very focused, is it? There we go. Um, these are just regular um, there's normal wrenches in the back, and then these are uh, flex head ratcheting wrenches from uh, Mastercraft. They're just uh, gear wrench ratcheting wrenches, so they're pretty decent. Um, this here is just a specialty wrench for the uh, superchargers, still in supercharger kit on the uh, 370Zs. Uh, there's a couple bolts underneath the plenum that are a pain in the ass to get at, and they've basically it's just a little bend in the long 12 mil wrench, but it comes in handy for some other stuff too. Got a 10 on the other side, and a couple sizes missing there that I don't use a whole lot. But once the uh, Mastercraft wrenches go on sale again, I'll probably pick up a bigger set. Uh, half inch impact, uh, deep and shallow, 3 8 impact, deep and shallow, chrome. Uh, three eighths deep and shallow, and quarter drive chrome deep and shallow, and those are all snap on. Came with the KRL. Um, it was buy a five thousand dollar box and get five thousand dollars worth of tools for free. Well, five thousand. <laughs> you know what retail is like. But uh, anyways, the uh, e-torque sockets and a few SAE, a couple of shallows and. Uh, few other. I don't use SAE stuff very often, but it does come in handy to have. I will have uh, more stuff up there. I've got a couple other socket sets to unload now. And nothing really in here besides a broken uh, three-jaw puller, but it's just the, the uh, little plates here stretched and broke, so I'll fix that and that'll be brand new. And a couple sets of safety glasses, nothing major. White for the toolbox. Um, welding helmet. I got all my power tools on this side, and all the air tools on this side. But again, this will change once uh, I get the socket rails, so I'll have uh, all my sockets and stuff down in the big drawer. Still lots of room. Uh, so these are just the brushless DeWalt. 20-volt uh, XR. This one's nice. It's the newer or newish model. It's got the precision screw mode, which is just a uh, reduced torque, but it kind of stops. It stops completely and then... Uh, gives you individual um, impacts, so it kind of stops and then goes tut 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 and you can kind of control the, the torque in it pretty good. And just the batteries for the battery tools, uh, 3 8 ratchet, um, a quarter drive ratchet, and these got the uh, grease fittings in the back of them. I don't know if anybody else weren't told that, but anyways, uh, 3 8 impact, everybody seems to like that. I uh, use it lots and uh, it gets into a lot of tighter tighter spots, especially without the airline and stuff attached to it. Um, nice for engine mounts and stuff that are kind of a pain in the ass to get to. And this is just the cordless polisher. Uh, I've used it a couple of times, um, just cleaning up a flywheel and uh, a couple sets of brakes and stuff, just the anchors and that works pretty good. And it's just an air Dremel with some uh, wire wheels and carbide burrs. Getting down in tight spots like uh, timing covers on front wheel drive cars. It's uh, it's kind of nice makes it easy to get the silicone off 
uh, air hammer. I've had that for five or six years now, probably even longer than that actually, and the uh, bits and stuff. Hey, if you ever need a uh, flat bit, an 18 mil, or an 18, uh, actually it's probably an M12 or an M14 nut, but um, the wrench size on it is 18 mil. Anyways, I just ha air hammered that on, so it saves you a couple dollars if you need it. I was thinking about welding it on, but you know, if it falls off, I can just bang another one on it. Uh, impact wobbles here, half inch and three eighths, and about the extra 16 because transmissions on Nissans can be a bit of a pain sometimes. <coughs> half inch uh, Ingersoll impact gun, I've had that for years too, hasn't been rebuilt yet, still powerful, powerful as the day I bought it. Uh, three eighths snap on gun, find it pretty good. Um, again, I haven't had much to compare it to besides the other snap on battery one, but I find that's uh, pretty good as well. Um, this is just a PowerMate uh, cutoff wheel my foreman gave me. Thanks, Brad. Uh, this is uh, just a straight die grinder with a wire wheel attachment. Clean up brakes and random nuts and stuff before you uh, get penetrating fluid on them if they're they're kind of rusty. Uh, just grease gun here, air grease gun. It's a grease gun for greasing up tools and stuff. A couple of filter sockets. Um, this one uh, I had a hood release spring, an old hood latch, and uh, use the spring for that, and grabs really good. It's kind of a, kind of hard to get the, the wrench onto the, uh, onto the filter itself, but once you got it on there, it won't let go. Um, that's just the Toyota, the OEM one. Worked at Toyota for a little while as well. Won't focus, but you can kind of see the, there you go, Toyota. And a couple extra batteries for the DeWalt drill, uh, burr for the quarter drive. Um, die grinder. Had a 90 degree one too, but that's gone. Somebody uh, took that, decided it was theirs. That's just the uh, other wheel for the uh, cordless polisher. Go down the next drawer. Again, I'll have more of my, uh, once I get this all organized, get all the wrenches and stuff down in this drawer too. <coughs> we got all vice grips. There's just a big set on sale for 120 bucks on the Snap-on truck. It was a good deal. They're just the Vice Grip brand ones. A couple of Mastercraft ones there too. Uh, these are just the uh, Flank Drive Plus uh, wrenches. Just the small set came with the KRL box. This is the uh, the new ratcheting wrenches, the Dual 80. They're really nice. I, I needed a set of uh, reversible ones because I was after backing a bolt off into a transfer case and ended up having to move the transfer case a little in order to get my wrench back. But <coughs> Won't happen again anyway. <laughs> uh, these are all the Mac pliers. They came in a set with those adjustable wrenches. Um, I think it was, I think it was under 200 bucks to be honest. This is a Canadian again because up in uh, Canada up here. Uh, Power fist, just uh, Princess Auto um, adjustable channel locks. A pair of scissors, clip tools, uh, old set of pliers and stuff. You know, if you need to hammer on something or you know, uh, these are just the uh, snap-on ones. Got the purple set. Find them really nice. The wire strippers are really nice. Side cutters are pretty good. Um, this is just the longer set of them. Um, I've already got the tips of the tips of the. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it there. If it'll focus, maybe. Anyways, so they're waiting for warranty, but um, these are the uh, internal external uh, uh, snap ring pliers find they're pretty good and they got the uh, different head or different uh, bits to them so there's like 90 degree and a couple different sizes in there <coughs> good for what I use them for and next drawer it's just hammers impact driver um, all the sets of the anti vibe ones. This came with a punch set. It's a three pound. It's kind of nice. It's short handle, so you can get into some tighter spots for banging on stuff. These are the snap on indexing pry bars. They're really nice too. Come in handy for popping axles out that, say, a subframe is in the way and you can't get one of these up there. You uh, you can get them in pretty good. Uh, these are just the max set. Uh, snap on set of punches. Came with the KRL. And these are just rubber mallets from uh, Princess Auto, four pound mall from Princess Auto. This doesn't belong in here, but you know, might as well put all my hammers in one spot. 
uh, another ball peen from uh, Canadian Tire. And these are just bits and stuff. Again, these will all end up in uh, the top drawer once I get the uh, socket organizers and stuff, or the rest of them anyway. <coughs> Torque wrench, uh, half inch Mastercraft, uh, 3 8 Mastercraft. This one's kind of useless. Um, half inch breaker bar. Uh, the warranty on this was lifetime, but when, uh, when you do the warranty, um, they no longer produce this one, this model. So they give you the, uh, they warranty it with the model that has a year warranty. So you lose your lifetime of it, but I'll save up and get the, uh, the tech angle torque wrench anyways. And this is just random junk uh, CD in there for checking uh, radios. Hot Wheels GTR R32 dream car. <laughs> like most of the Skyline fanboys. And just a couple pens and razor blades and stuff. And we got my ratchet and extension drawer. And this will probably change once uh, I free up some more room in some of the other drawers. Might end up in the top, top drawer yet. Who knows? And this is just the half inch gear wrench, uh, 120 XP. It's the only one of the 120s I have so far, but they're uh, it's pretty good. Head design is a little bit big, a little bit wide, but compared to the snap-on, you can see it's it's comparable. It's not too too bad. And then just the 84 tooth gear wrench, and these are the snap-on 80 or dual 80 or whatever. And that's the F L L F 80, the long one, 17 inches long. <clears throat> These are the Mac extension, uh, well I guess they're a half inch on one side and three eighths on the other, as well as the hog ring to hold the socket on, and uh, I can't remember the size on that, it's almost, I think it's 24 inches long to be honest, and uh, just another little half inch three eighths adapter, got a good deal on them because there's a little bit of rust on them, but if it's anything like the snap-on sockets it was going to happen anyway. <coughs> Uh, these are the Pro Point uh, extensions, uh, 3 8 impact, and a couple odds and ends for bits and stuff. These are the uh, these two here on either side are wobble uh, extensions from Snap-on. These are just the gear wrench ones. Gear wrench ones have been pretty good. Um, only broke one, and uh, unfortunately, it's the set's discontinued, so you can't get them anymore. So I just stuck a Mastercraft one in there. Uh, a couple of half inch impact extensions, the old uh, snap on breaker bar. <coughs> and what else? We got the electrical drawer, power probe. Four. It's nice for uh, testing injectors and stuff. And we got wire strippers, temperature gun, uh, just Mastercraft one, pretty good. Uh, a little torch, electrical tape, Fluke uh, 115, true RMS meter. It's pretty good for the price anyway. And we got some shrink wrap, or sorry, some heat shrink. And we got a uh, back probe set. And that's just some odds and ends. If you uh, Mishimoto rag cap for Subaru. And these all I'll end up in the plier drawer. Um, once I get an organizer, they'll probably all end up in that uh, second bigger drawer there, or third bigger drawer. Uh, a couple of lights, including that one up there. It's just that small 700 lumens, the one they uh, advertise running over with a truck and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty good. They advertise about an hour battery lifespan on full, and it lasts pretty close to an hour or two, or an hour and a half or two. <coughs> a few other random lights there, the Snap-on one with the UV. Probably dead now. Haven't used it in a while. Uh, a couple of mirrors, fuel line disconnect tools. These are just hose pinch-off tools. Again, they'll end up in the plier drawer. It's just a tap set, holding taps, or tap holders, for uh, using a ratchet with them if you'd like. And this is just pieces of brake line that uh, 
carved a little notch into the end for airbags on uh, some of the Nissans. They got the springs. You can stick those in the holes and uh, release the spring. And tread depth gauge and uh, automatic centering punch and uh, you know TPMS tools and stuff. Um, or not TPMS, sorry, valve core tool. Uh, knife. These are nice for uh, blocking off lines if you're doing brake lines. That'll block off the hard line. That goes on the one side of the fitting and that'll go where the fluid's leaking from. <clears throat> a few other clamps and stuff, they're cheap at uh, Canadian Tire and they're invaluable. You, you break them and you can buy them for like, I don't know, two or three bucks for a set. Uh, hub grip set, a couple of chargers, more than a few. I gotta stop buying the kits, but when they go on sale, man, come on. <laughs> uh, block off things for uh, different hoses and stuff. And these are just tree bits. Um, what else we got? Scraper, hacksaw, just odds and ends, tape measure, a little gun for spray paint if you got little baby fingers. <coughs> the next drawer down is screwdrivers and lots of miscellaneous screwdrivers. And these are the short picks, the longer picks. I'd like the really long ones eventually, but uh, these do for now. Uh, I've also got the hose, um, rad hose picks too, so. If, if these ones don't work, they usually do. And these are just the seal remover tools, little hockey sticks. And eighth inch drive um, ratcheting screwdriver set. Or actually, yeah, eighth inch drive, and this is the quarter drive. Um, this is good for working on the cell phone, that's about it. <laughs> there's not too many of these really tiny screws. Like, I think there's a T, T1 or a T4 or something like that. That's the cell phone screws. Yeah, pretty good set. And a few uh, pry tools, trim pry tools. Uh, Snap-on plastic picks. Kind of nice for dash work. And screwdriver set. Mainly use them for interior and stuff, but you know, if I don't have the size over there, I will use them because you can always wipe them off with a bit of uh, penetrating fluid after. <coughs> and next drawer. There's more miscellaneous junk. Again, I got uh, lots of room for more tools once I kind of organize this crap and get the uh, majority of the junk out of here. This is all just paperwork and stuff from Nissan, different uh, campaigns and stuff that would get taken out. Uh, half inch, or sorry, <laughs> half inch, uh, five inch um, angle grinder. Um, the uh, access tools kit. Uh, I don't know if you've seen up there, but it had the, uh, the longer uh, release tool in there as well. This is just a suction gun and this is a, a coolant tester. Everybody knows what they look like anyway. Um, it's just a stethoscope listening to different noises and stuff. Polisher for the cordless tool. This is a Company 23 um, cam lockout tool for the Subarus and stuff. Just did the timing on my uh, WRX so I bought the tool so I can have it for the next time or if I need to do any more work on them. Uh, oil filter for the Subaru, some wax, some gloves, TGVs for my Subaru which are partly deleted so far. Just got to clean them up and get some JB Weld to uh, fill a couple of the holes. And last but not least, the cases. Now I won't go through them right now, but uh, or all of them anyway. This is, uh, this is the same stuff as it was before. Um, this is just a big set of drill bits, 250 pieces or something like that, just kind of burner bits. Um, they work, but they tend to uh, dull fa fairly quick, especially on hardened metal. Um, this is a spark plug socket set, uh, just a Sun X one. Just a couple different sizes. It's a pretty good set for the price. I think it was about 100 bucks. Maybe cheaper. Can't remember on some of this stuff now. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get that back. <coughs> this is uh, right here. This is a Mac punch set, and just an extension cord, hole socket. Comes in handy every now and again. The uh, coolant uh, helps you bleed coolant funnel. Yeah, you've seen them before. Uh, this is a pickle fork set with uh, impact. Uh, attachment to, so if you uh, don't mind completely destroying the ball joint, um, comes in handy. Uh, this is a gear wrench uh, 
O2 and uh, oil pressure socket set. This is a, geez, what's that now? Uh, caliper tool, uh, pushback tool, one of the uh, threadable ones for the twist back calipers. Uh, this is a set of torque sticks, they don't get used very much. This is the snap on re threader, or yeah, thread restoration kit. Yeah, that's really good if you're thinking about buy it, just buy it. It uh, comes in handy a lot. <laughs> you don't think you'll use it as much as you will. Uh, this is just axle nut sockets. Uh, spring compressor tool, uh, set of extractors, set of extractors. These are the Mac uh, turbo sockets as well as these. Came in set, buy one, get one. Uh, these are the stud pullers. I'm sure you've seen them lots before. Grabs onto the stud. <clears throat> they work pretty good. Got the metric and the fractional. There's another set of extractors in there. Uh, again, I was working in Newfoundland, so uh, we had a lot of rusty bolts that broke off fairly often. Uh, this is just a uh, vernier caliper, digital one. Uh, that's a, uh, another extractor set back there. And uh, we got uh, these snap-on thunder bits. I got them for a good deal. The uh, only thing, less than half price, the only thing that's wrong with them is, let's see if this will focus. It's the eighth inch drive bit is too short. So I don't know if maybe these are jobber length and that's a stub length or or uh, what. But anyways, there's it wasn't broken. The bottom's not broke. The top's not broke. It's uh, brand new and sharp. Cuts like a dream. Um, but yeah, that was the reason why I got the deal on them because um, probably, well, I probably would have bought them eventually. But yeah, anyways, that's a nice set. It gets you out of a jam for sure. But yeah, anyways, that's uh. Oh god. Fuck it all up now. <clears throat> but yeah, that's my uh, snap on 68 inch Epic. Um, I don't know. I never had any of the issues like uh, a lot of the other guys either with the drawers not latching or anything or you have to push too hard to get them to latch or. Um, the drawer sides like uh, Joel at the snap-on tool review he had a few marks on his sides and mine all look really good actually this colors really growing on me um, I really wanted the plum crazy purple but uh, I got a good deal on this box where it was a trade show uh, or it was at the trade show but uh, yeah anyways uh, like comment share subscribe and uh, I'll try to get some more videos out of work on the Subaru. I believe I got some head gaskets to do on that and uh, a few other odds and ends, but thanks again for watching. Peace.